The art of making a tackle in American football isn't just about brute strength, it's actually a combination of science, physics, and perfect technique. Let's break down the physics behind a successful tackle. It all starts with momentum. Momentum is mass multiplied by velocity. In football, a player's mass, combined with how fast they're running, determines their momentum. The goal of a tackle is to stop or redirect that momentum. Now, to effectively make a tackle, you need to apply a force in the opposite direction. Newton's second law tells us that force equals mass times acceleration. So the faster a defender accelerates towards the ball carrier and the more mass they have, the greater the force they can exert. But force alone isn't enough. Leverage is key. Lowering your center of gravity by bending your knees helps generate better leverage. By getting lower than the opponent, the defender can use upward force to destabilize the ball carrier, essentially lifting and driving them back. Another important concept is impact absorption. When a tackle is made, energy is transferred between players. A well-executed tackle distributes this energy, reducing the risk of injury. That's why coaches emphasize wrapping up. Spreading out the point of contact helps manage the impact. Finally, angle of approach plays a critical role. Tackling at an angle minimizes the ball carrier's forward momentum, redirecting them off balance. This is why defenders are taught to take the right angle. It's all about using geometry to your advantage. So the next time you see a big hit on the field, remember, it's not just power. It's the perfect combination of momentum, force, leverage, and angles that makes a tackle effective. Science is at the core of every great play. And that's the physics of making a tackle in American football. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more insights into the science behind the game.